plants really are, in terms of biomass, the um, most successful organism on Earth. And so the idea behind our company is trying to understand why plants are so successful. They're not the strongest or the fastest. And where their strength comes from is from intelligence. So these electrical signals in plants were actually discovered um, because Darwin gave the gift of a small plant to an Indian scientist called Jagadir Chandra Bose. And Bose was able to measure these electrical signals in plants more than 120 years ago. It was the Venus flytrap, this plant that closes uh, when a fly is inside it. So the, these signals, we've known these signals exist for many, many years, for more than 120 years. But we couldn't do anything useful with them until we had big, powerful computers and machine learning. And now that we have great machine learning models, we're actually able to start to decode these signals. So plants are living really exciting lives. We look out the window and we think they're just sitting there doing nothing because they're not moving very much. But really, they're responding all the time to changes in the environment. And they can feel stressed from lack of water or too much heat or lack of nutrients or pests or fungal infections. So all of those things will cause crop stress. Working with the farmer, we choose some kind of sentinel plants plants that are of most interest to the farmer to measure, and that depends what the, the problems are that the farmer is trying to solve. So we measure a selected number of plants in a field or in a greenhouse, and then we process those signals in real time, and we send an alert to the grower saying, hey, the plant needs more water, or a fungal infection is starting, or you need to apply nutrients now because your fruit are starting to set. So we're just providing real-time information to the farmer. I've had a farmer near Geneva. I, I rang him up and I said, there's a big problem in your greenhouse. We can see it in our sensors. And he's looking at it and he's saying, I don't see anything. And I say, check again. And he says, no, everything is fine. I, you know, the next day I phoned him back and I said, really, there is a problem. And he went and he discovered that there was a big problem with his um, fertilizer solution. And so the, we could see that his plants hadn't yet wilted, um, but he was able to discover that or we were able to tell him there was a problem and he was able to fix that problem before the whole crop died, which would have been the result. 